Hey, this be a video chart on HFBG. I had a bunch of requests for this one this week, uh, but just now able to get to it. I think I did this one a long time ago, can't quite remember, but uh, one of these triple zero stocks that has really started to come to life again. What we're looking at here is the weekly chart. Uh, if you're not familiar with charting, what that means is instead of each one of these candlesticks representing one day's worth of price reaction, uh, which is what you would normally see each one represents uh, one week's worth. And the reason I'm doing this time frame is with the daily chart, it's kind of hard to break it down because in order to find the new levels of resistance, uh, you have to scrunch up the chart so much that it becomes kind of hard to look at. But with the weekly, we have a real good view of things. And uh, this past week was act it actually made a, a very important move. Uh, so I'll go above or go above go over that excuse me and kind of break down what's been going on so the first thing to point out is just simply the volume right down here clearly something happened this week you know I haven't looked at what's been going on maybe the company released some news or some sort of filing I don't know uh, but who really cares at the end of the day the only thing that really matters is volume and uh, with volume is the price going up or down because um, that's where the money's made so uh, the big volume has uh, happened this week and then the price reacted very nicely with it so the first thing to note, and this is uh, the key thing that really happened this week that was a big victory for the bulls, was the price was able to get above its 50-week simple moving average right here, which is this purple line. You can see that for the past, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, past five weeks, the price had really been struggling to try to get above it, uh, but this past week, the, uh, the floodgates kind of opened, and you can see what happened when this resistance was finally broken. So going forward, this now becomes a key level of support. If this, if this chart has any chance of reversing and then starting to build an uptrend, uh, the new, uh, the lowest it can really pull back now on any sort of thing is going to be uh, this triple zero three area right here, which is what this 50 week simple moving average is. I know nobody would want to see it fall down that low, but let's think about it. Let's see, let's say it fell down here, hovered around before it made new highs. Well, obviously, this set of lows right here would be higher than this set down here. And then when we connect the lows, that would then give us an uptrend. So as long as these higher lows start to be put in, that's fine. Now, if it could you know, put a higher low up in this region of the candle, that'd be even better. But at the end of the day, uh, for the overall chart and health of things, the triple zero three needs to be the base. The price can't drop below there anymore. Uh, if it does, all that's really telling us is that this whole week's uh, you know, price action you know, really wasn't anything genuine. It was just kind of a, a false momentum move that didn't really have any true substance behind it. Now, going forward and looking at resistances, the price actually closed this week right at uh, the key level of resistance right here at 0008. You can see that. Let me change this real quick to red here to represent resistance. I'm going to leave this line skinny because, you know, it closed right at it. It broke it into a week, but, you know, in terms of the weekly chart, we care about where the close was. Uh, so if the price can get above here, and this is where the resistance is coming from, as you can see, uh, real estate really starts to open up, and you know a, a much bigger run, uh, you know, could very really start to happen. Uh, but you know, first steps first, you know, triple zero eight bulls are going to need to start to put some closes in above there. Uh, but as you can see, as the chart shows, uh, the resistance levels really begin to thin out, uh, so it could really uh, you know keep on moving in you know the right direction for everybody. So real quick, once again. Key support level and the big event that happened this past week was the break and close above triple zero three. The price needs to now hold above here, and with a break and some closes above triple zero eight, as the chart shows, um, the resistance levels really start to thin out. Uh, so it could be you know a next or it could be a pretty exciting uh, you know next couple of weeks. We'll just have to kind of sit back and see what happens. If there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter. You'll be sent a free ebook, and with the newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on our alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was HFBG. Thanks for listening, and enjoy your weekends.